Welcome everyone. I'm Kimberly Boschman, and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at July 2023 individual forecast for each life path number. Before we get into that, though, I do want to announce that I have a new service available on my website. It's called the Diamond Forecast. And just to kind of give you a quick overview of what this is, I'm actually very excited to be able to offer this. The diamond is considered to be one of the most powerful and beneficial tools in numerology, and it's the absolute perfect companion to the year ahead forecast, which I know many of you are very familiar with. So the diamond forecast takes a deep dive into the very specific numerology transits that you're uh, meant to be moving through at any given age. So unless instructed otherwise at the time of booking, then I would be looking specifically at your current age through uh, the course of a year, birthday to birthday. Now this report breaks down basically your cosmic challenge or divine quest guiding you on your higher spiritual path throughout that that, uh, year. So we'll look at, again, the cosmic challenge, the root or the predominant catalyst that will likely create a particular chain of events uh, or create some kind of cause and effect within that year. We also look at the action key, which is how you're meant to respond to and work with that energy for the best results. And then finally, we would look at the higher and the lower vibrational potential outcome or probable results uh, of that year long quest. Okay, so just to kind of give you an idea, I ran my own report for my current age. And as usual, it is fascinating how incredibly accurate and on point it has been so far. So you can find an example of that report, uh, page for page on my website under the diamond forecast. And you can purchase it there if you choose to. Again, I highly recommend this report. And I also, of course, recommend the personal year ahead forecast and getting them together for the most in-depth insight. You can also purchase both if uh, that's something you want to do at a discounted rate. And again, you can find that on my website. The link is in the description box below. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at each individual life path for July 2023. Life path number six. So I pulled an animal wisdom message for you all for July and you got prairie dog and I love prairie dogs so much. I live in Colorado and I know it's like people either love them or don't, but I love them. They're so cute and they're just such beautiful little creatures, especially when I'm going on my walks. Anyway, I just love to hear their little squeaks and stuff. They're so sweet. Um, What I love about prairie dogs, and this actually aligns beautifully with the energy that you're working with this month, but there's like this like sort of just cheerful energy. Now, again, we're like associating like human qualities to these animals, but it's just, you hear the little squeaks and they're just, I know, you know, I know the meaning of the squeaks, but really the way it comes across is just this joyfulness, this playfulness. You do see them playing with each other, like chasing each other, you know, hugging each other, all of these things. Um, so there's just like this cheerful energy, right? So it brings in this energy of joy, of playfulness, of cheerfulness, and surrounding yourself by the people and experiences that bring that into your life this month, for sure. Um, There's also this energy around like industry, because when you think about like the prairie dog, each one has its own sort of job, right? So it's responsible for something within that community to make sure that the community is running smoothly and um, going well. So there's something here about potentially career, industry, community, uh, your place within the community. You could see some things come up around that this month um, that need your attention, or you could see some kind of recognition or some accolades come in uh, within the com- within your community. Um, So yeah, you could get some more clients, you could see, um, again, like some kind of recognition, some kind of accolades. There's also this energy with the prairie dog, which also is very six energy, but it's like this sort of 
graciousness. Like you rarely see, or I've rarely seen prairie dogs fighting. It's more about like, again, working together as a team, coming together, making sure that the community is running smoothly, looking out for one another, um, you know, because they are prey animals. So they have to be on the lookout. They kind of remind me of like what you see with meerkats. Uh, if you're not familiar with prairie dogs, they're very similar to, or have the same kind of, um, characteristics or traits as meerkats. So it's just that sort of sense of community, um, looking out for one another, having another person's back type thing, sort of fixing each other's crown type thing without, you know, advertising that it was crooked, all those things. And what I love about this is, well, let me go back. So first of all, you could see this month that your need to be sort of in the community or um, helping somebody out or um, assisting in some way or looking out for another type thing, which is also very six energy. So this is right up your alley. Um, But you could see sort of that intensify a little bit more this month. Um, Or you could see some challenges come in around that that need your attention and some modification. And so the reason why I say that is because July for you all is the energy of 11-2. And so 11-2 is a beautiful energy to work with. Um, But in a cycle, it's still a beautiful energy to work with. I'm gonna talk about that, but it can bring about some additional challenges. And usually those challenges are meant to show us where there's a disconnect, right? And then we are meant to find the solution to reconnect, to bring the harmony, to bring the balance. So this month you may see um, some significant challenges in any area within your life where there's a disconnection, right? Where things are not moving, uh, going smoothly or where you're neglecting some area of your life in some way or some relationship or a connection. You could see that come to the surface this month to highlight, okay, this is where the disconnect is. How are you going to work towards reconnection? How are you going to work towards finding that solution? Similar to prairie dog, right? Um, Again, the prairie dogs always seem to be working together. It seems to be um, this very like, uh, like a well-oiled machine when it comes to their communication. And again, like their, their, their systems and their, their, their quote unquote jobs. Um, it all seems to work really, really well. And they also have like this very intricate, intricate, um, housing system, a uh, place to sleep, a place for, um, going to the, the bathroom, um, just different things. That's very like well thought out and well planned under the earth. Right. Um, cause they dwell under underground. So my point is you could see some things with this 11-2 energy this month where it's highlighting where they're, where it could be maybe done a little bit more efficiently, um, where maybe there's some disconnect that you're maybe avoiding, that you know it's there, but you're avoiding it because you haven't wanted to deal with it. Uh, it could come to the surface this month to really be dealt with so that it's not getting in your way anymore. Um, the 11-2 energy is potentially going to bring in anywhere that there are self-imposed restrictions that are keeping you from doing what lights you up to that are keeping you from following your passions, following your heart center, um, or causing any kind of separation or divisiveness, right? The 11 to is going to highlight where that separation is and how to alleviate it. Okay. So it's up to you, of course, what you do with it. Um, but this can be a great month for coming together, working together, collaboration, mending something, um, healing something, especially when it comes to relationships, because the two energy is very strongly focused on relating to others. doesn't have to be romantic, can be romantic, but it can be friends, family, colleagues, community, whatever the case may be. Um, but somewhere you will feel this energy the most intensely if there's some area within your life that is not connected, that where there's disarray or separation or some kind of disconnect that you can alleviate through your actions. Um, It will be brought to your attention more than likely this month. So pay attention to it. And then it's up to you what you do with it. So I hope that it is a beautiful month. This can be a great month 
for uh, getting support. So if you need someone to help you out, this is a great month to ask for that assistance. If you are feeling like you are just run ragged, that you are burning the candle at both ends and you need some assistance, this is the month to ask for it because this is a great month for relating um, and coming together and seeing eye to eye and getting assistance. So definitely ask for what you need this month. Sixes. All right. Take care, everyone. I hope it's a beautiful month for you guys. Take care. Bye for now.